hey all this is part six and we're determining if a value is an object. Now we actually did this in the very first part of this lesson where we checked to see if the type of and array dot is array both lined up the way that we wanted them to. And so because we sort of already did it, we're not going to spend as much time on it for this one. But we're going to walk through it the same way. We got our object. Um, value is an array and not an object. So type of object is equal to object and not array dot is array uh, at object. The way you want to consider this is that this is a combination of two Boolean expressions. One where we're checking to see that the type of the object is indeed object. And we're also checking to see that array dot is array on the object returns false meaning that if we get the inverse of that, or we apply the not operator, that should be true in the event that object is not an array. So if we run this, we're going to see true. Excellent. Now let's talk about some variables. So the playground, the location is the city park, swings are true. I guess they have swings. And the hours are 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Nice robust hours. So first thing we're going to do is assign a variable playground is object to be the expression type of playground triple equals object. Now this is going to be true in the event that the type of the playground is object and false if the type of the playground is something other than object. Then we're also going to say on line eight playground is not an array is going to be equal to the not operator applied to array dot is array called on the playground. So if the playground is not an array, this expression is going to be true, meaning the playground is truly not an array. Line nine, the playground is object and not an array is just gonna be equal to those two previous variables that we just defined joined with an and uh, operator. So provided that they're both true, we're gonna get playground value as an object and not an array. Excellent. Now, we are going to complete a function that takes in one parameter, possibly an object, and returns whether the input is an object or not. Your function should create several variables, is object, is not an array, and is object and not an array. Assign is object to an application of the type of operator to the input. And by the input, well, there's only one input, so. Assign is not an array to a call to the array.isArray method with the, uh, that's going to be an issue with the markdown. Don't worry about that. It's supposed to end here, and then another one's supposed to wrap around this guy, but that's okay. Uh, so to a call to array.isArray method with the not operator applied as well. Again, we just saw that in the documentation, so go back and check it out if you need to. And then we're going to assign is object and not an array to the two previous variables combined with an and operator and return the is object and not an array variable. So a relatively complicated series of steps, but not that complicated based on what we just did in the documentation. Below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you have completed the described function is an object. So here's our big robust stub. And let's grab those test cases. So create an is object variable. Assign it to whether the input is an object type. So type of input triple equals object. Create an is not an array variable, and we're going to assign that to the not operator applied to isArray.isArray called on the input. And then we're going to create an isObject and not an array variable, and we're going to assign that to uh, isObject and is not an array. And this is going to be a relatively useful way of creating more and more complex uh, Boolean expressions, but we went over that. So return is, and I'm just going to copy and paste this because the odds I'm going to spell it right the third time are very low. So if we run this, we should get false and true. We do. So let's copy our completed function, come back to our input window, run the tests, and that broils our Brussels sprouts. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.